Bill and Ben, the tank engine twins, work in the clay mines and quarries near Brendam Docks. Their work is important, but it can be hot and dirty. Sometimes this makes the twins naughty. One morning they were feeling very naughty indeed. That's my line of cars, huffed Bill. It's not. It's mine, snorted Ben. Yours is over there. It's mine. It's not. It's mine. It's not. Their friend Boko was worried. Stop quarreling, you two, or the only thing you'll have left to share is... Trouble. Silly, snapped Bill. Silly yourself, grumbled Ben. Bill and Ben, behave yourselves, said Sir Topham Hat. It's clear to me that we need another diesel to help out. There is only one available. He's new and keen to make an impression. If I were you, whispered Boko, I'd get back to work right away. Meanwhile, Sir Topham Hatt was having doubts about his own decision. I hope the new diesel doesn't cause even more confusion. He's bound to have teething troubles. And he was right. Oh, my grease and oil. I wasn't expecting this hill. What's that? Boko came to the rescue. Sorry, said the diesel. I'm all hot and bothered. I've got teething troubles, you know. The news soon spread. Apparently it's teething troubles, confided Thomas to Percy. Hey, you two. This new diesel's got a toothache. Good luck. Why does Percy want to wish us good luck? Asked Bill. Because he knows we'll need it. A diesel with a toothache must be the worst diesel of all. Then their manager spoke to them. You will take your loads to the docks and rest there tonight. There's a lot of hard work to do tomorrow. It was dark when the twins reached the docks. They left the freight cars by the quay and scurried off to the shed. You do look glum, sighed Duck. It's the new diesel's fault, replied Bill. He's got a toothache. He hasn't got a toothache, he's got teething troubles. That means he's new and this causes some problems. In his case, it's his cooling system. Next morning, the twins heard an unfamiliar whistle. Oh no! It's the new diesel! And it was. Hello. I'll soon sort this train out. You take the front and I'll push from behind. <laughs> what fun! All went well as they set off. Then they came to a hill. Come on! Come on! Push harder, you silly diesel! shouted Ben. But the diesel couldn't push any harder. I'm overheating again. Oh, Pa! snorted Bill. You know what? sighed the driver. Let's try and finish the journey anyway. It means we'll have to pull the diesel as well. Can you do it, twins? We'll try! And sure enough, they could. That night, Sir Topham Hatt came to see them. Well done, Bill and Ben. I've sent the new diesel back to the works. Can you manage alone? Oh, yes, sir. Boko, whispered Bill. I'm sorry we were rude to you. And, added Ben, the new diesel was really quite friendly. And you know what friends do, murmured Duck. Know what? They always say goodnight to each other. And so they did. But they still chatted about the diesel and his teething troubles all night long.